We're going to find the limit of x to the power of x as x approaches zero from the positive direction. From the negative direction, this is a complex valued function, and we want to restrict our discussion to real numbers, so we have x approaching zero from the right. We'll start working it out down here. The function x to the x, by the way, looks like this. So we should be expecting a limit of one once this is all said and done. Now, when we have a variable in an exponent, often it can be helpful to use a log function in order to start reworking what we've got. And that's exactly what we'll do here. We'll put all of this in the power of e, but then we'll put it in the natural log. The e and the natural log undo each other, so it's as if we didn't change the function at all. Just like this, e to the ln will undo each other, just leaving x to the x. So this and this are the same. But what we have now is e to the ln x to the x. Now, ln has some interesting properties, which is part of what makes it so useful. One of those properties is that if something in the natural log has a power, like in this case, the x in the natural log has a power of x, we can bring that power down as a coefficient, and that will be the same thing. These are log properties you should know. So this is equal to this because the e and the ln undo each other, but then by our log properties, this is equal to this, with the power of x brought down as a factor. Of course, originally, we couldn't evaluate this limit by substitution because zero to the zero is undefined. So just plugging in zero doesn't help us. But what about now? Could we plug in zero to this and get a definitive answer? Unfortunately not. We could plug in zero, and of course this x would be zero, but then ln of zero approaches negative infinity, so the exponent is zero times negative infinity, and that's indeterminate, so we still have some more work to do. The key question is, what's happening to x ln x as x approaches zero from the right? If x ln x is going to infinity, for example, then certainly e to the x ln x is going to infinity. On the other hand, if x ln x is approaching 0, then this thing is approaching 1, which is of course what we expect. All right, so how are we going to settle this? What does x ln x approach as x approaches 0 from the right? So let's give x ln x a name. We'll call it y. Then we're looking for the limit of y as x approaches 0 from the right, which of course is the limit of x ln x as x approaches 0 from the right. It's just going to be convenient later to have a nice name. That's why we're calling it y. Now we could use Lape Tall's rule here potentially, but we're going to need to write x ln x as a fraction, and here we see how that works out x ln x is the same as ln x divided by 1 over x, and this is in an indeterminate form. If we plug 0 in here, well, ln of 0 is going to negative infinity, and 1 over 0 is infinity. So this is an indeterminate form, and we can apply Lape Tall's rule. So to evaluate this limit, we can look at the limit of the ratio of the derivatives of the top and bottom. The derivative of ln x is 1 over x, and the derivative of 1 over x, well, 1 over x is x to the negative 1. So we can just apply the power rule. The derivative of that is negative x to the negative second. And simplification gets us the rest of the way. The negative we can write next to the 1 over x. The x to the negative second we can bring up as x to the positive second. Then a factor of x will cancel out, and will just leave us negative x. At this point, we can plug 0 in. The limit of negative x as x approaches 0 from the right is 0. So as x is approaching 0 from the right, the exponent of e, x ln x, is approaching 0. In particular, it's approaching 0 from the left, since we've got this negative x, so it's actually approaching 0 from the left. So we can rewrite this limit. The limit of e to the x ln x as x approaches 0 from the right is the same as the limit of e to the y as y approaches 0 from the left. And that's just equal to e to the 0. We can just plug the 0 in, since e to the y is continuous. And of course, e to the 0 is 1. Once more, all we're really doing here at the end is simplifying the exponent. 
The exponent is x ln x, but we know that as x approaches 0 from the right, all that's happening to that exponent is that it's approaching 0 from the left. So we're able to rewrite it like so, then we can plug in the 0, and the limit is 1 as we expected. Hope this lesson was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Reindeer to pick me up and slowly get to know me. We'll unwrap each other until we're never lonely. Hello.